Wir filmen heute den What we're shooting today is a commercial for KUKA that features Agalus in the leading role, the really small, light and agile robot from KUKA, which is competing against Timo Boll and will be trying to beat him in a match. I'm excited to see which of the two will emerge victorious. KUKA is a robot manufacturer, which we were able to win as a customer. And we're filming a commercial here in Sofia with Timo Boll for the robot manufacturer. Timo Boll. I really gotta say I've worked together with a number of celebrities in my life. Timo Boll is simply someone who stays focused and follows through with his thing until the end. I have never actually experienced someone applying himself so fully in that way. <laughs> I'm definitely happy to play against the robot. But yeah, what makes a good table tennis player is speed, agility, maneuverability, reaction. Those are actually attributes that a modern industrial robot is supposed to have and needs to have these days. And so there are a lot of things we have in common. I'm eager to see how it turns out in the end. The speed at which the two have been going at each other is absolutely fascinating. Just imagine, those are the kinds of speeds where you actually don't even have a chance anymore at following them with a the camera. It's like in a boxing match. You've got two people standing face to face and you don't know where the punch is going to land. Playing the ball on the same point over and over again with such precision, unbelievable, truly unbelievable. That's something that will definitely be staying with me. The speed of the robots nowadays, and in addition their precision, really it's to the millimeter and it's totally crazy. I'd like to be able to match that as well. The Golden Gate Bridge is certainly one of the most iconic and beautiful structures in the world, but what you may not realize is that it terrified a lot of drivers. Well, now that's all changed. For the first time ever, the bridge has a barrier that separates northbound from southbound traffic. And what makes this one so unique is that it moves. This is a specialized truck that can move these 3,500 concrete and steel blocks across the lanes of traffic. It's sort of like a zipper and the idea is to keep traffic moving smoothly, but also stop head-on collisions. This is very expensive technology. The system costs $30 million. The way it works is the trucks move over each barrier. Each one is 1,500 pounds. They're lifted up and moved over to the other side of the lane before they're set down. These trucks, they may be really strong, but they're not exactly speedy. The top speed is 10 miles an hour, and they get just five miles to the gallon. The bridge is very unforgiving. 
the motorist is traveling uh, on the bridge, someone coming the opposite direction, if they're distracted momentarily, would slam into him, it would be a horrific head-on accident. The bridge is more than a mile long, and I tell you what, driving across it could be a pretty scary experience, especially if you were in that far left-hand lane. There used to just be plastic pylons there, so you were always at risk of somebody swerving into your lane of traffic and hitting you head on. And there's another big change coming to the bridge, suicide nets. In the last few years, there's been a record number of people who have taken their own lives here at the Golden Gate Bridge. So leaders hope these nets will be a deterrent from people leaping to their deaths. Of course, there's been some controversy with this. People are worried that it may change the aesthetics of the bridge. Nonetheless, they're coming and uh, we expect them to be installed sometime within the next three years. So combined with the barrier and these nets, the bridge will be a whole lot safer. Every day, around the world, we are faced with unfolding situations that require teams of first responder specialists and the best possible equipment to minimize the damage and to preserve life. There is always a need to find new, better ways to deal with the critical logistics that all first responders and support operations encounter. Rapid, effective response means much better outcomes. This is where the Martin Jetpack provides exciting and innovative solutions. The Martin Aircraft Company is based in Christchurch, New Zealand. The company was founded in 1998, and since then, the rigorous development and testing of the Martin Jetpack has resulted in a world-class aircraft that is highly adaptable and responsive to meet any geographic and operational challenge. The Martin Jetpack has the pedigree of reactive design ingenuity that is forged in New Zealand. Developing a highly competent aircraft like the Martin Jetpack requires the ultimate improving environments. The diverse range of terrain, natural geographic hazards and complex urban infrastructure found throughout New Zealand and Australia provide the perfect combination of challenging locations and physical circumstances that face the Martin Jetpack globally. The Martin Jetpack has been engineered to meet the most demanding physical and technical requirements. It is a highly responsive aircraft and designed to perform under the most challenging conditions. There is a history of ingenious New Zealand achievements brought about by the necessity to adapt and respond to the conditions presented. The Martin Jetpack, together with our heavy lift UAV, finally gives first responders and other tactical units an air support asset that's able to provide rapid, tangible and cost-effective support in critical situations. The Martin Jetpack is a disruptive technology, much like the helicopter was when first developed, with substantial capabilities, and it's able to be flown by a pilot or via remote control. It runs on normal petrol, and the jetpack can take off and land vertically. With its small dimensions, it can operate in confined spaces, close to or between buildings, near trees, or in other areas that larger VTOL aircraft, such as helicopters, can't access. The Martin jetpack has been designed with safety in mind and for easy adoption, with pilot qualifications easy to obtain. The jetpack is fly-by-wire, so it's relatively easy to operate when compared with other aircraft. Its ballistic parachute system can safely recover the aircraft from a few metres above the ground. It will be one of the safest light aircraft on the market.
The Martin Jetpack has been engineered to perform in areas where high demand, where life and property are at risk. It is a registered aircraft in the New Zealand under the Civil Aviation Authority and has hundreds of hours of total flight testing to underpin its operational performance. And given the potentially hazardous working demands, we have built a high level of pilot safety unseen before in light aviation. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every day.